that the, the new it's agreement mining district. I mean, uh, it, it's just get rich quick schemes. Of, of, you know, ever it, it's since seventy two, and it just got even more checkered. It's it's changed hands so many times, and just to unravel the act, so that's what the EPA keeps claiming. They say, well, we can't. We can't figure out who's responsible because it's passed hands so many times. So it's like, we'll give this company 5% of the blame. You know, they go up and there's shit like that. Just clean it up, you know? Yeah, yeah. But like um, anyhow. The, the hooker guy that owned the mm -hmm. land and mm -hmm. sold it to the school district, he's the one that ended up having to pay some of it. And so was the company that owned it previously. They ended up having to pay millions of dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, Alma Dan mine, you know, in San Jose, they, the feds just cleaned it up, they, you know, as then they didn't really clean it up. It just capped off the Close tailing it. piles, you know, <laughs> which, which they we would be it. happy if they would just do that, you know, really, that yeah, because be a big those change. tailing piles, it really contributes to the pollution, you know, the runoff and, and the outgassing from the rocks, it's exactly what it sounds like, so, um, so, uh, yeah, uh, your que I'm sorry, your question was like... Why hasn't this land been like auctioned off? Yeah, well, actually it was. Okay. So, it, what happened was, it went for sale cheap, and this failed drug rehab bought it. For, and they had it, unfortunately, right after we moved here, they moved here. Nice. That, yeah, yeah. I mean, they moved here in 82. And they were bat crap crazy. I mean, they really were. The owners crazy. were? Yeah, they were crazy. I mean, they were junkie crazy, you know, with guns and everything. They hated the woods. We're pot smoking woods people, you know, Aww. that kind of stuff. So they declared war on us, you know, even though we made deals with them. Look, we'll do the cleanup. We took our tractor up there, you know, because we knew the government wasn't going to do it. So. They just were crazy. Yeah. And so we, they, we finally got rid of them, uh, what was it, four years ago? And that's when we put in the black line. Because, you know, they would tear up our, we, we tried to tap into the reservoir, which is what they use. You know, the reservoir three miles up the road. Is that that black coat that I saw? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the black coat. But, okay. but I was wondering what that could have been. For 33 years, we didn't have it. Because every time we tried to put it in, they'd rip it up in the middle. Yeah, that is it's absolutely illegal, like, but there's nothing we could do. We're breaking 50 water laws, you know, every time they do that. Anyhow, so, you know, it was water hell for in my family for 33 years. Wow. And I wrote a book about it called Quicksilver Chronicles, you know, because I was so... Oh. Yeah, I'm really interested <laughs> in your book, actually. Yeah. I couldn't find it at any of the, like, local places. Oh, well, it's on Amazon.com and um, Lulu.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, L U L U. I get more. I get more royalties if you go to Lulu. Okay, <laughs> fifty cents more. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Never pay counts. Yeah. So then it's not really owned by anyone right now. It's so so right now, actually, it's owned by the county. It's owned by the county because what these guys did that that defunct terrible drug rehab that never worked. <laughs> they defaulted on their tax. They just did not pay taxes for thirty years, and the county. Had that been any of our land, they would have been right there at your front door giving us that goddamn property taxes. They they treated them like the red-haired stepchild. They didn't want to have anything to do. No, 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 that's okay. Go ahead. Default on your taxes.